good morning. Oops. I um I I almost started this video a while ago. Well I did start it, then I looked up at the screen and I realized that I didn't take that nasty nail polish off. And I realized I didn't have my teeth in. I realized I had first of a heart. And um and so I and I realized I didn't have my glasses. All them important things. Okay, so now I got my teeth brushed. No, I, yeah, I got my teeth brushed and and in. And I um just a minute, I gotta put my Lid on my nail polish remover here. I got that on because the last couple of videos I had that purple nail polish and it was kind of chipping off pretty bad, so I had to take that off. Now, happy Labor Day to everybody. I hope everybody gets day off. I know a lot of people don't get days off if you're a nurse or something like that. My son's a mechanic. He doesn't get the day off. My other son's electrician, he gets the day off. You know, just people get the day off today. Not me, though. No. But today I'm in the mood for making beads. I, I, I'm in the mood for playing with beads. I'm also got problems with lighting. Because I took one of my lights out of here because it was an old gooseneck. Man, that was getting on my nerves. Just in a piece of the turn. This one. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Ooh, look at all that shadow. That's not good. Shadows are not good. Wait a minute. Now, just wait a minute. Just hold on to your horses. I should have done this first as well. Just to figure out. Shadow stuff. It's in there. Something I can set this lamp right here. That one. This one. A little higher. Just a sec. Hold your horses. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay. Okay. There we go. This is my toolbox. I'm put my tools. Two box over here. I put this underneath. Put the lamp on top of my tool box. Then my lamp is more of a down kind of a thing. Now I hit the camera. Oh, that's a little bit better. You still get some shadow, but not as bad. Someday I'll get official stage lights. Right now I only have a official stage frights. Now what I, oh, here it is. See, I don't, I thought I had everything together. Doesn't it look like I almost do? I almost do. Here we go. Now maybe that's good. Okay. One day I'm going to be an expert at this videography, but that's not today. Now. Today I feel like making, I feel like playing with beads. Now this is one of the, um, it's just a bead cluster. Gosh, my lighting is terrible. Okay, but maybe you can see it there. It's a bead cluster that, that you can hang on most anything to make a decoration on the side of a journal a lot of people put them um, on the edge of a journal or you might hang them like in your from your rear view mirror to decorate your cars i always like them hanging from the rear view mirror but my husband doesn't like nothing hanging from the rear view mirror because it says it distracts from his vision and he's pretty boring when it comes to blank and then here's one I made that's got a lot of different colors. And if you look at it this way, you can see how simple they are to make, actually. You can see how I took 
a piece of chain at chain, that piece of chain is about four inches long and then I've taken one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and made seven jangles, bow dangles. This is my bow, I'm going to call it a bow dangle. Um, I've been making bohemian things and this one is to me more bohemian because it's got all the colors in it and I love all the colors. It, this one here that I showed you first is wooden beads, which that one's nice too, but you see how they look when you hold them up sideways like that? You can see how they're put together. And um, then here's one I made. This one is got clear beads and some blue beads together. I alternated them on each one of the dangles, and you see I have a charm at the bottom of each one. And this one here is also with blue beads. This one's got less, I think. Sometimes, yeah, I'm trying to find the end. I can't see it. Sometimes I can't find it. Is this the end? No, this is the end. No, this is the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten. Now that one's got ten hanging from it, but some of them are just beads without actually, oops, they're at beads without actually having a, um, without actually having a charm at the bottom. And you can do it that way too. It doesn't have as many charms. Now, this is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you how I make these. Now, there is probably a Blue Jillian videos online to see how you make these. But I watched my friend make them, and that's how I learned how to do it. I watched my friend. And so, because she was good. Her name is Ileana, and I watched her. And because I was at her house, and she, no, I was at her mother's house, and she was at her mother's house, and I was, well, anyway, who knows? No, you don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to first take a piece of this here silver chain. It's, it's not like, okay, I'm going to try and keep this in view somehow. I'm really not good at this. There, maybe I've got it now. And I'm going to just take a piece, and I just kind of guess at the size, and so I'm going to take this piece that looks like it might be about four to five inches long of chain. Now this chain is kind of a, you can use any chain. This is a larger, heavier chain, but, you know, there's an even heavier chain like this. Sometimes I use that if I'm making something that I want to be more steampunkish. But then you even have lightweight chain like this. And this works. This works good, too. Let's see. This is 10.9 M. Okay, and I don't quite understand that as to the size. Maybe that's millimeters, but I'm not sure because there's only one meter. Oh, that means there's 10.9 meters on this. 12 yards for 10.9 meters. So it's almost 11 meters, which would be like our, our 12 yards. And so, but the size of the chain, it doesn't put on there, so I don't. A clue. I don't have a clue. So what I'm going to do, oh, and first, I always, when I do beading, I do it on like a towel, because then your beads don't roll away from you. There's beads still might roll away, because beads do have a life of their own, so a mind of their own, and, and if they decide to, um, sometimes you can just cut your beads, your chain, but um, 
pulling these apart. I just pull that apart so that I don't pull that one link apart and I can just pull a piece off. Okay, so that's going to be the beginning of my, oh man, I just remembered I'm out of lobster class. Anything out of lobster class. Usually I would put one of them on top, but I have, I think I have a couple of these other. I see it over there. I see it just a minute. Excuse my boarding house reach. There we go. So I'm going to just put, and I don't know what you call these kind of clips. It's just a something. So I'm going to put that at the top. That's going to be my, that's going to be my top clip. That's what's going to clip it. That's what's going to clip it to something, somebody. You know what they should invent? They should invent like a beeper on a, on a, like if I get out of frame and I don't know it, then you all could push a button and it would beep me and tell me I'm out of frame. That would be a good invention. I wonder, I wonder if, 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 if I could in, be the inventor and make like a jillion dollars, I could buy a lot of crack supplies with a jillion dollars. Okay, now. I went live a couple times with my videos. I think three times, maybe just two times. And, um, that was fun. Oh my gosh, I loved it. But my problem was, my problem was static. I had static, so much static in my, in my video that I couldn't video. I couldn't, I can't do it because it was static. So now I've got to figure out how I can get rid of the static. All right, now I'm going to be using, these are, these are my, um, jump rings these are jump rings which are the ring that's what we hold things together with. i mean that's what we're going to add each one of my little chains with i say you know like medicine bottles and put beads in them i got some in here this i had some mini ketchups i thought they were so cute like who would buy a mini ketchup like this, I bought it for the bottles. I loved the bottles. And then I used the ketchup, washed out the bottles, and I have these in them. This jar, it, I have a bunch of these bottles. These were at the thrift shop. They're spice bottles. They were like on a spice rack. But look how pretty those beads look in there. So those are good to keep your beads because you're in and then my grandson he had some paint or maybe it was play-doh something in these little cups and when he i think it was his paint when he was done he saved me the cups and i got my spacers in there so now here see i got that that plastic bag i need another little cup i need to save me some more little cups i really like the clear rather than these I wish they made medicine bottles clear. That would be cool. Okay, but anyway, in this medicine bottle, I have got these eye pins. I think these are two-inch eye pins. Now, this is what you decorate. That should be enough right there. I should have probably got a darker colored towel, but hopefully you all can see. If you can't see... Get your binoculars. Now, so what I do first, what I do first, what I'm going to do first on this time. Now, you can really decide on your own self what you want to do and how you want to decorate your, how you want to decorate your, um, your bead, your bead jangle, your bead jangle. Now, I'm going to just lay some. 
and all of these are a lot of teddy bears. Here I've got a, a fairy. Here I've got a teddy bear. This is a pink palette. This is a dachshund. I love little dachshunds because dachshunds, that's what I got for them, little monsters. They're still in the bed right now. I don't let them out till daylight, and it's not daylight yet. Oh, here's a tree of life. Love that. Because if I look in a key, that's it. If I let them little boogers out before before daylight, they bark at everything. There's a horseshoe. I'm going to use that. They will bark at everything. So then if I wait till it's daylight and them are out, they don't bark quite as bad. And the dogs, them, is like, oh, there's an owl. Well, I don't know if I'll use all of them. And let me tell you, let me tell you, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, husbands and wives, I order my charms. This is a fish. Okay. I order my charms from Ally Express. You can go to, just go to Ally Express or you can go to eBay, Ally Express, or eBay. You can even get to many different places that you can order your things from China. And let me tell you, the prices, the price, I'm my, first I'm going to put my little ducks on there. So there, I just put that, the, the jump ring, I opened the jump ring, and I put on my little charm, which of course is my little dachshund, and then I added it to the very bottom of the chain. And then I'm going to close that jump ring up again. I use, some people can do this with their fingers, but this old granny, nigga, I can't do it with my fingers. And I have to have these, I have to have my eyeglasses on. I have to hold my mouth right. There, see now I have, on this chain, I have the, the, jump, the, the um, clip at the top that you'll hang it with. Whatever kind of clip you choose. I usually use a lobster clasp, but I'm out of those. So I'm going to just use this, and I don't know what you call it. And then I have my chain. And then I have my first charm just at the bottom. Wait a minute. Wait. Okay. Let us, let us change that. Okay. Now this, if I knew how to edit, I would edit this part out because I just made a mistake. So, because this is what I want to do. I want to put... I want to put this at the end of an eye pin, the eye pin on there, and then my little dots. See, I made a horrible mistake because you would have never been able to see my dots for the beads. Okay, now I have my doxy at the end of the, the end of the eye pin. They call this the eye pin. Because it's got a little eye at the bottom, a little hole. They also have pins that look like this. This is called a head pin. It only has a, like a bead on the end. You can get some that are fancy with fancy beads on them. Those you would use if you were not going to hang a charm or something on the end of it. You would just use a head pin. But we're not going to use those today. We're using eye pins. Then, then is when we're going to start decorating. Now, I've got, these beads are so pretty and colorful. Those are kind of small. So then I have, I'm going to use these beads as well. Use those. And I'm going to use these. Little, these are spacer beads right here. These we want to call them spacer beads. Spacer beads can be any small 
Usually they're metal. You use like a metal bead as a spacer bead, or you can just use a small bead as a spacer bead. And that makes to where if you have two big beads together, put a little spacer in between them, and it just gives it just that much more um, beauty. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, now I'll, I also have what we call bead caps. Okay, here's my little box. Bead caps. Just a minute, I'm stretching here. Here's where I think I have everything. And then I think okay, I don't have, don't have my little box of bead caps. But I do have some right here anyway. I'll use these ones that I have right here in my box. Set those over here. Oh yeah, these will work. These will be fine. I've got quite an assortment of bead caps here. So what I think on the, the big beads, okay, first let me tell you about Ally Express. Or any place, there's other places too that you can order directly from China. When you order directly from China, you get, you, you can get, um, these things are so inexpensive. These, everything, all these come from China that I ordered directly from China and the price is like amazing. And, um, and it's just, if you go to the Walmart or to the, you know, Michaels or some of them places and you see that you can buy, a, it comes on a pretty card. There might be five charms on there and it might be three bucks. That's just like a guesstimation. But they're, um, they're terrible expensive. But if you order them from China... I use, the most I give for a charm is 10 cents. Most of them are less than 10 cents. Some of them I gave a penny for. Now, if you go onto the eBay on the, on the auction part of the eBay, that's where you, if you got, if you, if you've got the time and the patience, you can, you can get them like next to nothing. There was one, package I got. You get them in these little bitty packages from China. What, and it always has the price that you paid on the bottom because each line item will come in a different package. But one of them, I had like 50 charms in it and I paid 17 cents for it. So and you don't always find them like that, but you can. So that's where I get all of my stuff. I buy it very inexpensive like that. Okay, so then I'm going to put a bead cap down here at the bottom, and then I'm going to put one of my beads, one of the larger beads. I think this is a 10 millimeter bead. And then I'm going to take a bead cap. Let's see if I can find them the same. They're all different here. Oh, here's one that's the same. And, and then I'll put that bead cap at the top. There, now, can you see how pretty that looks? Okay, my camera is supposed to focus. It's supposed to, like, focus, like, automatically. And, but for some reason, it's supposed to be a pretty good. To make it focus. Okay, but I think it's focusing enough that you can see that I put the, first I put the, the little charm at the bottom on, and it's attached to the jump ring to the eye of the eye pin. Then I put the bead cap, a bead, and a bead cap. And then, then you start getting, you can get, then you can start getting, um, um, oh, what is that word? You can start getting, getting creative, creative, that's the word. And you can put 
You can start making whatever you want. You can add. Look at this. I can't talk and do at the same time very well. There, now I did the same thing there. And I think I'm going to put one more of the small beads. Hmm. Do I want to do that? You know, and then sometimes then you'll say, do I want to do that? I'm going to, instead of putting that little bead, I'm going to put a spacer. A spacer. And then go back with my, I don't like these square ones. Okay, we can get rid of that square one. And then we're going to put another bead cap and another bead. Darn that shadow. I really don't want these shadows. But I sure have shadows. i got to get like a light from straight above. I told my husband I want I want to have um, like a fluorescent light above me. And I think he'll do it if I just if I just X him one more time. Do I want that? Okay, no, I don't like that either. Okay, excuse me, I'm having a little bit of a meltdown here because I'm not liking this stuff. Just a minute. Let me see if I can get this lid off of here. There's so much stuff here. These are, just off. these are like those little glass e beads. They call these e beads. So let me see if I can find. That doesn't have to match. Whatever. There. Now I think I'm going to like that better. And then. But yeah, I think I'm gonna talk to the hubster today and you know, wink at him a couple, give him a couple winks. And and he does like to go to Lowe's, you know, he likes to go to the hardware store. That's like his candy store. Okay, and then I wanna just put this bead cap on top of here. There we go. Maybe just like that. Maybe that's all I want. Then, do I want to put another one of those little orange things on there? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Then, I'm going to take and make a ring. Now, usually, it's best to fold, bend your, it's best to bend your um, wire at a 90 degree angle first, and then roll up. The wire. Oh, look at there, my Cheryl. She just messaged me and said, Good morning, my BFF. How are you, my good friend? That's me. She just messaged me. She's my friend. Okay, she's my BFF. Everybody should have a BFF. Okay, now I just made that into a circle. A circle there. And then, then I get another. I think this is going to take me forever because I'm slow. It's molasses in January. Maybe if I didn't talk so much. You know what I should do is, well, yeah, man, I don't know how. Um, ooh, I just had a deja vu thing. Do you ever just get a deja vu that you're just doing something and you think, oh, I've been here before. I did this. Yeah. There. Now, I have the very bottom one finished. And each, I'm going to do each one of these, these things. Where did I put them? Thing? Oh, here. Each one of these eye pins, I'm going to do basically the same way. I'm going to get a jump ring. Open the jump ring, take a charm, put that on the charm, put the charm, charm on the jump ring, and then I'm going to put the, the eye pin on the jump ring, and then I'm going to close the jump ring. All right, then I'm going to put 
I'm going to put a bead cap and a bead, a bead cap, and now they don't have to be all exactly the same. You know, I made it kind of look like it. Maybe they should be, but they don't. Maybe you can make each one of them different. So I'll put that one there. And just I'm just putting little bead caps on this one, so then that bead looks okay there in the middle. And but I think on this one I'm throughout I'm going to use these same kind of beads, as I do like them. And then I'll put another bead cap on there. That looks very pretty. And then I'll bend that over. And then I'm going to twist and shout. Not twist and shout. I'm not going to shout. But um, you can tell I grew up in the 60s. Um, and then I'm just twisting that out of frame, of course. And I just twisted that with my needle nose pliers and I made that ring and then I get my jump ring and I'm going to open that jump ring up it doesn't work with the needle nose pliers I get my flat ones okay open that up and put that on there now, I'm going to go, you can go like every link, or you can go every other link. I think on here, I'm going to go every other link. Now, if you go every link, it makes your, your cluster a lot fuller. So, it's going to be, depend on how full you want your cluster. Now, each one will, you know, you're going up like on mine two links and it depends on how up on your chain that you use too you know the bigger the links if they're bigger links you might just want to want to do every link if you have a little chain like this you wouldn't want to go every link you might on that one go like every three or four links so then we go again with another jump ring and then when you're pulling your junk ring apart, see they're together when you get them, and you just spread them apart this way. Don't spread them apart open like like a jaws or something, because then it's real hard to get them back. So then we put the charm on if you're if you're putting charms. Now you don't have to put a charm. Like I say, you can put the use a head pin. And not worry about charms at all. But I'm a charm junkie. I love charms. Okay, so then now I have the charm on there. I've got the eye pin on there. And then I, it just twists right back to where it came from quite easy. Let me just move this camera just a little up because I tend to go back here now. There we go. And then, and you can get these in different lengths too. This is the most common length. This is two inch, but you can get them even in a three inch length or even smaller lengths. So you can get those in different lengths. So, so there's always, there's many, many choices. I like my. I've got quite a few different um, different bead caps here, and I like to have two that match. But if they don't match, hey, it's not the end of the world. And I got like more somewhere here, like a jillion, a jillion more. Okay, so then I'll put this on here, the bead cap, the bead, and then. I saw one like this. There it is. Like that. Okay. And then, and then I'm going to put, maybe I'm going to put two 
of these little um, e beads on there. Maybe I'll do that there. And then I'm going to put another bead cap, another bead. and another bead cap. Now, you know what, these don't match, but now I just got out of the matching mode. Okay, so, bend that over with my little flat pliers. So that, uh, that last one, with my fingers, and it didn't really work. But. So, and then, to, when, when you roll it up now, you've got, the needle nose pliers, those are the ones with the very round, two round points. Two round points. So then I roll it up, get it about a half of a half of a roll, then leaving your pointy part of the flyer in there. The, the one part, inside part, leave it in there, and then roll it around, and then come back. Roll it, roll it, go around, see, open, close, twist, open, close, twist, open, close, twist. And then, I didn't get that one really round, so you can just kind of push your, I, I did it, I didn't get that really round, but it's good enough. Okay. See there? You see that? Now I'm going to take another jump ring. Move these things out my leg out of the way. Move these things out the way. I put them right in the way. I want to get under this thing. I think underneath this light wouldn't help. Okay, so I'm going to open my jump ring. Okay, now if you get the idea already, then just go right on ahead and go get your cup of coffee. But if if you need if you need more, if you want to watch more, just swing in. Just hang out with me. Just I like it when you all hang out with me. Okay, now. Now I'm going to skip, this is the bottom one, the next one, I'm going to skip one link and I'm going to put this one in the link above. Then I'll close the jump ring like this. There it is. It's closed. Then you can take it flat. Just make sure. And, and it's closed nice and tight. Don't get it nice and tight. Things might go dancing to the floor. Okay, so now I'm going to get another eye pin. Oh, first I gotta get my other jump ring. Get my another jump ring here. I'm gonna open it. And I'm going to put the eye pin on there. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the horseshoe on this one. I just like charms. So when I can get them charms at a decent price. I don't mind using it. Now, if I was to have to pay full price at a craft store, I don't know if I'd use them on every one. I probably wouldn't because I would be too poor. Okay, now here. And I I don't work for China at all. I just know this from experience. I'm an experienced shopper. And I need my money for other things. So this now I'm going to put put these two beads. These two are too much, too close in the same color. Okay, I'm going to put them two beads. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to put a spacer bead in between them two E beads. Oh yeah, that is definitely more schnazzy. That's more snazzy, and I am into the snazz. I hope this is going to show up okay. I don't like it when I give you all problems. 
don't like to give anybody problems. Oh, and let me also, as a reminder, if you have not watched my video that I made about my drawing, please watch that. I made a video about a drawing that's going to be for one of my Bohemian style traveler's journals. I'm giving one away. I'm giving one away. You, you must, you must, there's rules to enter this drawing. So that's why I say um, that you must watch the video and the video will explain what what the entry process is and i'll put a link below to that particular video that i have that'll tell you how to enter it the, the journal for you, those of you that have been watching my videos all along well, I'm having the world's worst trouble with that one. Okay, I got that. The one, those of you who have been watching right along have seen, let me show you again, if I can get it off this mountaintop without everything avalanching. There, now, this is the journal that is going to be given away this is a regular traveler size journal eight and a quarter no four and a quarter by eight and a half or this might be four and a half i don't know i don't have it exact this this is a bohemian journal that i have made and it's all these little pieces are separate pieces of fabric that are all sewed together there's trims sewed on, and the, on the front I have some buttons that are sewed on. I have some beads here. I have charms. There's lace there. I might even add more. There's flowers on there, and then on the front is clipped two bohemian bojangles. I made a bohemian bead. I put a charm at the bottom. And a lobster claw at the top, a lobster clasp at the top, and that decorates this journal even further. This journal isn't quite finished because I don't have a closure on it. It's going to have a closure. Normally, there's like a rubber band closure on a traveler's journal. I don't know if I'll do that or if I'll do a tie, but I have elastic holding the inserts in. In the journals, when you get a traveler's journal, you can look up Midori, and that'll explain to you a uh, traveler's journal. Or there's a lot of different um, different YouTubers that make these, and they'll explain them. But there's pockets inside here. This one has a secret pocket under there. Now everybody knows. And this one, so far, I've got... I have three inserts put in this one. These are just inserts that I need. The inserts in these journals can be anything. Like this one, I just, I just tea dyed and oven dried, tea dyed and oven dried papers and put them in and added some images. This, this insert is just paper. Just, well, it's cardstock, lightweight cardstock that can be used for journaling or, 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 um, sketching too. Then inside here, I've got a, this page will hold credit cards or pictures or anything like that. And then this one here, this, this page here also has tea dyed and oven dried papers. And also, it's got, this is like you would put in a junk journal. This is a, um, this was sent to me by a, one of my subscribers sent me some happy mail. And this paper that was painted, she sent to me. 
So I used that and made like a pocket page with that. So that that's what's in this one so far. But the um the the entry for this the entry for this, let me show you one of my entries. This is one of the entries that I've received already in the mail. Now, the entry does not have to be much. This is an entry that is made by uh, just an 8x8 eight eight piece of paper for the cover, 8x8 eight eight paper for the pages, just plain. They don't have to have anything on them. I require you to sign this right here, and it can be either tied together like this, or you you can staple it. If you have a stapler that'll reach four inches, you can staple it. That's her entry. That was her this lady's entry. And then I always ask that you put the address on an extra piece of paper inside so that when because sometimes your return address on the tape, on the on the envelope gets all nasty, and so that's why I want you to put it on the inside, just so I do have it. And I've put my address on the on my address is on the on the video that I explain it. It's just my name, 408 Springtime Street, Spring Hill, Florida. 34608. That's my address. Now, these, I'm going to pick, see, I showed you the inserts in the other one. I'm going to pick inserts out of these to go into the book before it's sent off. Now, because the, the a traveler's journal is meant to use, to use it and then if once you fill up the pages, you then can put new pages in it. You can make new new pages, new inserts to go in it. Now along with along with that journal, the winner is gonna get also a Bohemian bracelet. Oh, I didn't put any bracelets on this morning. And and you actually I don't know till you'll get at least that in your prize package. I may even put in one of these. You you just don't never know. It's whatever mood I'm in on that particular day. The drawing is going to be on on November first. The reason I'm doing it November first, I'm giving people that live internationally time to send in to send in your your insert for the drawing and so and sometimes that mail takes a while so i'm going that's why i'm giving it that much time so on october 31st the day before the drawing is when i'm going to go through and show everybody's insert and and there's a tree of life i love the tree of life that's going on that one and i'll show everybody's insert and tell the names of all the people that have that have you know put their name in the drawing by sending in an insert um And then on November 1st is when the drawing will be. And I will probably, the what I've got planned is that I will, that's going to be also put on video. And I'll read the names. What goes into the, into the hat will be, um, will be an index card with the name of the person who entered. The index card will have those names. And so when, 
So it doesn't matter the it doesn't matter what your it doesn't matter what your your insert looks like. You, that's not going to enter into who wins. Because all that's going to be in the hat is your name and address. Or maybe just your name in the hat. And that's how I will know who wins. And then, and then, like I say, three, at least three of the entry inserts will be in the, in the, in the winner's notebook. You see how my mind just gets all scatterbrained? I'm going to be 68 years old next month. And boy, it's the beginning of the show. And so I hope you understand that. But like I say, I'm going to be mentioning it a few times, you know, through the month. Just to remind people so everybody that wants to has a chance to enter to win. And um, and this is international. So if you're from East Uwagiri. If you live at the North Pole, you go ahead and send in your entry. Then I have all these addresses. Because I'm expecting to get a bunch. And because I like to send out happy mail. I used to do swaps, but I don't do swaps anymore. But I do like to send out happy mail. And so, so since I like to send out happy mail, I will have addresses to, pe to people that I really know is interested, and I'll have addresses to send happy mail. Now, I will, that won't be all. I mean, I pick addresses randomly to send happy mail to, just randomly. I say, oh, I want to send one to this person, or I want to send something to this person. And, um, and so I never send anything fancy schmancy. But I, I send just random happy mail. I like that better than trying to deal with swaps that have deadlines. I don't do good with deadlines, let me tell you. And most people know that. Every time I have a swap, I have to say, Oh, I'm sorry I don't have your swap ready. It's going to be late. And so I got embarrassed of having to tell that. So, so that's why I... I pretty much quit doing swaps. I do a private swap here and there, ever watched in a great while. But not often. I'd rather, I receive happy mail. People will send me happy mail. And oh my gosh, when I get happy mail, not expecting happy mail, and I get a happy mail. This is one happy girl. Happy, happy, happy. And so, and I know other people like to get happy mail, so I like to just send out happy mail. So, I will have addresses. These addresses are going right into my address file, and then I have addresses to send happy mail. Okay, see, I'm not talking about what I'm doing. I'm just talking about other things. But I bet you know now what I'm doing, see? Because, see, I'm adding another. Let me see. I'm adding stuff. I am adding stuff. I'm adding stuff. I'm putting these beads on with my fat fingers, and you can't see what I'm doing. Maybe if I hold this with this, this hand and pick up the bead with this hand, and then put another bead on with this hand. There's all three of my hands. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's going to be a pretty one. And then a bead cap. And then a bead. I'm kind of sticking with the big beads. I'm sticking with the same, the same style bead. I don't always do that. But I love these beads. These almost look like they're... I'm sure they're probably acrylic, but they might be glass. But it looks cracked. Looks like cracked glass. Okay. 
case. So then I'm going to bend this piece over 90 degree angle. Then I take my needle nose pliers, pinch it right on the end, and turn up. Turn up. Open its mouth. Go back down. Turn up. I didn't get close enough to the end on that one, and so it didn't really round. And so, because I get nervous when I'm on national TV, because then I know that I am this Kansas City star. That's what I are. Not really. I don't. I've never been in Kansas City, but it's a song. Oh, what was that noise? Should a noise. Shouldn't be any old. You know what? I bet it is. I bet it's my dogs right now. Well, pretty soon I'll let them out. It's getting daylight now, so I can let them out. They think they're pit bulls when it Oh, I love this one. It's a little teddy bear. It's actually a teddy bear holding another teddy bear. I love teddy bears. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Put this little I, I, what did I just call that? An I, I pin. Go away, little book. An I pin. Do you see how, oh, you know what? I didn't even hang this one on. Oh, well, that's okay. I'll just shut this. I already got this started. See how my, my mind just goes in and out, up and down. It's like my brain is fried or something. And we have seven children, though. And then, you know, if somebody asks me, well, how many grandchildren do you have? I always have to count on my fingers. But I think I have 12. Or 14. I have to count on my fingers. And then, and, I, and I've run out of fingers. Once, once I have more than 10, then... Okay, just a minute. I gotta be quiet. I gotta be quiet and leave it. Because I gotta cook it. Okay, I'm being quiet so I can do this. There, now I think I got it. Yeah, phew. Okay, let me put this one down here right now. And pick me up another jump ring. Where did oh, there, there. Because I gotta hang that other one on there. I'm getting behind or ahead, one or the other. I don't know which one. Okay, so there, that was the one I finished. And I gotta add that now. You know, my friend, when she does this, she hangs this on a banana. You ever seen those those things you can hang your hand of bananas on? It's like a, just a little wood thing and it's got a hook on it. She does it and hangs it on there. That makes it so much easier. That's probably what I should do. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there. Miss, skip one link of the main chain. Skip one link of the main chain and go up to the next one. There we go. Now we're getting close to the top. Okay. And then we get that good and close. If you don't get that closed good, there's a good chance that it'll fall off. I've had them fall off because I'm not perfecto mundo. Okay, now here, this is where we started that one. I got the eye pin, put on the um, jump ring, and a charm. So now I will get another bead cap. I like using the bead caps because I like bling. Well, I just like bling. And so, and and I give up on them because I've got so many here, different ones. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't find that they don't match. And so then I'm going to put one of these and put a spacer and put another one of these little um, E beads. And then, because I'm going to put another big bead on, I'm going to get another bead cap. 
So you need to have a little cap on because you never know it might get cold. And then the bees would get their little head cold and we don't want to be responsible for that. There we go. How pretty. I love those bees. Those bees are pretty. 90 degree angle here. And then I'm going to get right to the end. Make sure you get right to the end of that so it, it, it rotates around. And then just keep you, the, the, the metal keep, the wire keeps on that one side. It don't ever cross over to the other side of the pliers. You've got to hold it tight. There we go. And then there it goes. And then you have you have made your own like little jump ring kind of thing. And we want to open this jump ring up. Don't worry, we're getting close to being done. Oh, this arthritic thumb here. Usually I rub my hands with absorbing veterinary liniment. That's another advertisement. But somebody told me about that one time. That absorbing veterinary liniment. And I said, veterinary? You mean like, yeah, like you use on horses and dogs and whatnot. I said, well, you hurt to try. So I went and got me some. Well, actually, I said, my husband, I don't actually drive, so I don't believe nothing. But I have a husband that's very obedient, and I love him. And he does anything I ask him to. And he's got bad knees, too. So we started using this horse liniment. Oh, is this looking pretty or what? Can you see that? Gosh, I hope you can see it. When I look in the mirror, I'm not looking in the mirror. When I look at the computer screen, it doesn't show that it's showing very well. But we went and got that horse liniment from the feed store. You can order it from, now we order it from Amazon because it's cheaper at Amazon. But it's called, it's called Absorbing Veterinary Liniment. Lim, lemon. Lemonade. Liniment. That's it, liniment. And um, I usually rub that because I got the arthritis right here in the top of my gum. You know where I think I got that? Why I have that? Because in my day, back in the olden days, back in the olden days, before there was electricity, well, actually, no, there was electricity. That's why. But we had the Atari, the Atari game. And I used to play, like, Mario. Mario Doctor was one of my favorites. And I would play the, what is that game um, that everybody played? You know, Mario. I had Luigi and, Luigi and, and what's that other guy's name? Mario and Luigi. Yeah, that's Mario and Luigi. And then had Yoshi in there. You know that Yoshi? I love Yoshi still. And um, I used to play that game a lot. When I was supposed to be doing housework or whatever, because I was, well, anyway, we won't get into that part. But, um, oh, my leg's going to sleep. I guess my leg wasn't ready to get up. My leg's asleep. But, um, I used to play that, you know, and so it was constantly working my thumbs. And now I have the arthritis of my thumbs. I wonder if I could sue Luigi. Or Mario, or Yoshi, sue somebody, make a lot of money because it's because of their game that caused me to have the arthritic thumbs. Yeah, it's worth giving it some thought. You know, my coffee's sitting over here getting ass cold. Just a minute, hold your horses. Sometimes I use a candle warmer. You know them candle warmers and that you can, it's like a little plate and it plugs in and it gets warm and it's a candle warmer. 
those work good for your coffee cups. You can plug one of them in and keep your coffee on it if you're a slow drinker, which usually I'm not a slow drinker, but since I'm doing the videography, I think I'm being a slow drinker. And, um, but especially in the winter time, it's good to have those little. See, that's my third commercial already. I commerced about Allied Express. I commerced about my veterinary liniment. Now I commerced about candle warmers keeping your, keeping your, um, keeping your coffee warm. Hey, yeah, they work really good. Just get one of them liquid ones. You just plug it in. It's like a little hot plate or a warm plate. It's just a warm plate. It's not a hot plate. It's a warm plate. And you stick your coffee on there. You keep your coffee all nice and warm. Okay, and then this. This one goes. This go here and this go there. That's how you do the disco dance. Now we got this one. Let me see, either one or two more on here, and I am done. Now, see, then I go to look for the top, and I can't find it. Where's the top? Oh, there it is. Oh, man, that's looking snazzy. I might put this in with the prize package, too, whenever I pick a, whenever we pick the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I won't send you a chicken dinner, though, because especially if you live abroad, by the time you get the chicken dinner, it would be kind of yucky. I'll put this owl on here. I just love these. I think these are so pretty, and they're so much fun to make. There we go. And see how simple now? We just put that charm, the jump ring, onto the eye pin. And then we put that little bead cap on there so their little heads don't get cold. Gotta keep them nice and warm because you never know. This thing might be going to Australia and it might be cold there. I don't know. I have got some of my dearest, dearest, my dearest, dearest subscribers. It took me that long to think of that word. From I have some from Australia. I have one Odette. She's from she's from Africa. And um and I have England, Ireland. I have them from everywhere. And so that's why I wanted to do this contest. Well, it's not a contest because there's no contest in it. It's just a drawing. Oh, that one's kind of pinkish. I look at that one. And um, but I if I if one of them is the winner, I would want to have to send a chicken dinner over to them. It'd be moldy. It'd be moldy. And they might not like chicken dinners like we like them over here. We down here in the south. Us people here in the South, we like our chicken. Now, I really like fried chicken, but my cholesterol has gone over to, yeah, my cholesterol. That old doctor, he keeps, I don't know why he whines about my cholesterol so much. He told me that I probably should quit eating ice cream. I said, ice cream? I have to quit eating ice cream? He says, if you was to quit, because he knows I have ice cream every day, and he said, if you was to quit eating ice cream, your cholesterol would probably be normal by the end of the year. And I said, ice cream? I can't believe that he would think that I would quit eating ice cream, but I haven't had ice cream since I've seen him on the 31st, or the 30th. I've seen him on seen him Thursday, whatever day that was. And he said I should quit eating ice cream. And then, well, to try to get him off of that ice cream kick, I told him that I had this cough going on. 
I said I cough at night. It just keeps me awake. I don't cough much during the day, but I cough at night. It keeps me awake. See, I was trying to just change the subject. And he goes, and so then he gets off that old stethoscope. You know, and he listens to my parts. And he says, you know what? You got the post-nasal drip. I said, what the heck is post that is the weirdest sounding nastiness. <laughs> that is the weirdest sounding nastiness I've ever heard in my life. Post nasal drip. <laughs> uh, and he said, but he said, I got some mint for you. It, it is, is this. You get the post-nasal drip because there's something that you must be allergic to out there in the yard, pollen or something. And then that makes you have the post-nasal drip when you go to bed at night. Post-nasal drip. I'm a princess. A princess with that post-nasal drip. But, um... Uh, so he gave me some kind of medicine. I don't know. He said it's for allergies. Oh. And so they like to give you medicine. I don't know. So, but the bad thing is, the weird thing is, since I've been taking this medicine, what's it called? Claritin. Lorati. Lorati. Loratidine, generic for clarity. Yeah. I'm telling you, my eyes don't itch. Because my eyes always itch. My eyes don't itch, and I and I can go to sleep without coughing. So I guess he was right. I've got the post-nasal drip. That is gross sounding. Isn't that the grossest sounding ailment you've ever had? Post-nasal drip. Jeez. Never been so insulted in all my life. Ha. Huh. Post nasal drip. Oh well, I'll put that in my Christmas letter I send to everybody. Sorry, family, but I'm suffering from the post nasal drip. And that one goes there, and then this one goes here. Oh, I'm gonna need. Well, there's another one I didn't add. See, look, I get. I get whining about my health issues, and then I forget what I'm doing. Okay, so that one goes there, and then this one goes. See, it's because I got the post-nasal trip, I can't think well because I, I'm i disabled. I have the post-nasal trip. Post-nasal trip. How can you insult a woman like that, telling her she's got... Okay, now. Okay, I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on this one. Because people who be grossed out to hear about the post nasal drip. Now. Now, I would say that this one is finished. Look at how beautiful that is. With all the beads, the silver that's in the in the um, charms, and in the chain, and in the bead caps, and in the spacer beads, I used all silver. You can use all gold, or you can use the, what do they call this color when it's like grass looking. That'd be pretty too. But see, that's pretty. I think I like that a lot. I do believe. I do believe. I do believe. Spooks. But now, what do you think about that? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give that one a 10 for sure. You see it? Can you see it? Can you see it now? Now can you see it? I hope you can see it. But that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to make one of these. And see, as you... As you hold it up, you can see how they just, they just all hang like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So on this one, I made 10 little jangles on dangles on the bow dangle. This is a bow dangle, and then things on my traveler's notebook is bow jangles. Gosh, I might, you know, I may just put this one since I did this on um, national TV. I might put this in that winning basket as well. Because I think it's pretty. And like I say, you can hang them. You can hang them anywhere. You can hang them. Like, I think that would be really pretty hanging on the, um, on your rear view mirror, in your vehicle, in your BMW, in your Corvette, in your whatever you drive, in your Studebaker. Pickup truck. Nah, these will look good, the man's pickup truck. But if it's a girl's pickup truck, yeah, it would look good there. But um, it might look good in the man's pickup truck, except especially if they have a duck sitting in the I love my dachshunds. Okay, that, that's all I have for you today. That's my video of the day. That's my that's my video of the day. I gotta put my stuff away so I can do something else. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll just make another one of these. I don't know, but this is free. I'm having fun. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. Let me see. Oh my God, an hour and 16 minutes. Good God in heaven. Okay, so. Thanks a lot for coming by. Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up and a, and give me a, um, wait a minute. Oh, now I can see. Um, yeah, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. One or the other. At least I know you watched. I had one that somebody gave me three thumbs downs on it. I don't know why. I'm going to hunt them down and toilet paper the house, what I'm going to do. But, um, but you can give me a thumbs down because I'll come and show the paper your house if, if you need it. That's okay, I don't mind. And just have the coffee pot. And um and and so and then you can leave me a comment if you want to. And um don't curse at me though, because I'll make you put every time somebody curses, I make them put twenty five cents in the cuss jar. And that's my scrapping me. Crafting me is the twenty five cents people put in the cuss jar. So don't cut that. And, um, and, yeah, and I'm the one that says which ones are customers and which ones are not. All right. And cause somebody, some try to take with me. My son, he tries to say a word that I know it's a customer. He said it's not. I said 25 cents is a customer. But it, so then, and if you haven't subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe to me because I have almost a thousand subscribers. I cannot believe that I have almost a thousand subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers. I've never even had that much money. I've never even had that many pennies. Oh, jeez. But anyway, and so anyway, I love you guys. I love you guys for stopping by. And if you're still listening to this after this hour and whatever, then you are the main man, right there. Or the main woman, or the main, main, main whatever. You are the best. And so, um, okay, I'm going to leave you now. And God bless you. God bless every step you take, every move you make. And come back and see me again sometime. And and, and, and maybe I'll make a cake. I don't know. If I knew you were coming out of bank, the cake, the cake. I gotta find my mouse here. I think I, I think I got to drink the rest of my coffee. Okay. I love you guys. Bye bye.